OK, boys and girls, this lesson is going to focus on analogous colours. And you can see there's the word there, analogous. And we already know about the colour wheel, but what we're going to learn about is a little bit more about what we can do with the wheel. And analogous means that it's a colour and then it's the neighbouring colours beside it. So if I turn this dial and I look at what's within that little bar there where the analogous colours are, yellow, yellow, green and green. And if I turn it round, now I'll do green, blue, green, blue, and we've got a little bit of blue violet in there. So it's always the neighboring colors beside each other. So generally, if you go with red, orange, and red, orange, and what you're going to do is you're going to pick three analogous colors today. So when you look at the color wheel that we have up in our art room, and I'll have it projected on the board as well, I want you to pick Say you were picking yellow, I want you to pick the colours that are on either side of yellow. If you're picking red, you pick the colours that are on either side of red and purple, vice versa, green, the neighbouring colours to it. And you're going to pick those colours and, and stay within that colour range. So you've got a nice analogous art project that's going to happen next. What we're going to do is we're going to play a little game as well of true and false. And one of my questions is going to be, can chameleons change their colour? Is it true or false? Because that is what we're going to do today. We're going to make an analogous chameleon. You're going to get a sheet of white paper as usual. Always make sure that your name is on the back in pencil before you start. And you do have an option when you do your chameleon. I have a template here that you will all get to show you easy steps on how to draw a chameleon. So you've got that as reference, but also I'm going to provide you all with a template. So to make life easier today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So I would trace with round. You're going to do this in pencil first, okay? So that if you make any mistakes, you can erase it. Always draw it light until you get it right. And then when you've got it perfect, you're then going to trace over your pencil lines with a permanent marker, a Sharpie. Okay, so there's my shape. And then I'm going to follow on to draw in my designs. So I want to make sure that I've got my nice chameleon. I'm going to make sure that his tail is spirally. I'm going to make sure that his behind leg is just going to go behind his tail. I'm going to make that a bit more spirally, boys and girls. They've got really great eyes, okay? So I'm going to do this and this and this. I'm just going to do some lines going round. And when I do his mouth, he's kind of, he's always a bit glum looking, isn't he? Now I've got the shape there, I've got my chameleon shape. Now what I want to do is I want to start making some patterns and some designs. So I'm going to add some spikes. Okay, so like scaly spikes across the top of his head. And then I'm going to make some bigger ones. And you can come up with your own ideas, boys and girls, as well, okay? So what we're doing now is we're actually doing some illustrative drawing. So I'm going to just keep bringing this round. And round and round and round. There we go. Take it round. Okay just to keep continuing with that spiral. Kind of fun. All right, he's nice and jaggy. And you're going to see these. This is going to be posted up on the board as a, as a visual for you as well. And then I'm also going to add in, I'm going to give him some pattern around his face. I'm going to give him a nostril, okay? And then I'm going to add in some more designs, okay? So I'm just going to break that band up, put in some maybe big zigzags. And this section I'm going to put in big circles and, and break him up. Because then you're going to use your analogous colours to colour him in. And let me see, I can do some nice scallop lines. So he's got kind of a dragony effect. You see how I'm doing those scallop lines? And we've used scallop lines before in the past. So you should be familiar with my vocabulary. And you're going to do this, as I said, boys and girls, in pencil until you get it right, until you're happy with your design. And then I'll just break up. I'll do some wavy lines and I'm going to break up his, his arm there. And there you go. 
Now I've got myself a really fun chameleon. Now I'm ready to colour him in. Now I've got my analogous colours. I'm going with cool colours. I'm going to be using blues and purples and, and greens. So those are the three that are next to each other on the colour wheel. And I'm going to start colouring him in in different sections. Now you can see I'm leaving little bits of white. Now for a change I'm not going to be asking you to fill in the whole thing with colour. You're going to do sections of it. Okay? And I'm going to explain to you why in a moment because what we're using actually is washable markers. They're water-based. And I'm going to keep colouring him in. And I'm going to do my dots. Make them random. And keep filling him in. And I'm going to just keep continuing. Okay? And what I want you to do is do the whole thing. So I'm just going to demonstrate with the top of his head, actually, so you can see. But I'm going to carry on and fill in the rest of him. And you'll see an example in the moment. If I just put my markers to the side. When you've got it very broadly coloured in with your analogous colours, you're going to get a pot of just water and a soft brush. And then you're going to brush over him. Now, what's so cool is that this starts to spread the markers. And you can see already, it's starting to fill. You see how his eyes change color? And you're gonna spread that color, okay? And you do that all over. So any parts that you made white are now going to, basically, the color's going to bleed and spread. And if I continue with that, if I miss something, I can just even add in. And it's a bit like watercolor painting now, but with a marker. And then I can just keep continuing. When the whole thing's done, we're going to set it on the dryer. When it is completely dry, we're then going to cut out our chameleon. And when we cut out our chameleon, we're going to then put him in a habitat. Okay? So with your habitat, you're going to get a piece of green paper. All right? I'll just set him up there for the moment. And with your crayons... When you have your chameleon cut out, you need to pop, pop him on a perch. So with your crayons, you're going to be drawing basically a nice branch, okay? And you can use all the greens and the browns and the blues that you have in your crayon box. So I'm going to draw a nice branch. And I'm going to put a perch, okay? And when I've got that perch, and I'm going to keep filling it in with colour, I'm going to make it look like it's got texture. I'm going to give it grains. Overlapping the colour as well, boys and girls, so you get that nice woody effect. Okay? And when you've got that completely filled in, and you can put some leaves in the background as well, Okay, all with crayons. So you're using a mixed media project now. Cut out your chameleon and with a glue stick you set him down. And you'll see a visual on the board when we're finished. But boys and girls, this is an example of what your chameleon should look like at the very end. Okay, and you can see I've used the same analogous colours, but there he is. He's on his perch and he's on his tree branch analogous colours that are used with markers and we've washed it down with water. There you go boys and girls, now it's your turn. Let's make an analogous chameleon.